Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for how they feel about you. This is gonna focus on your person, their thoughts or feelings about you or the connection and their true intentions. Um, this will be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You all know the drill. This cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching. If this is not your story, do not try to make it fit. It's just not your reading this time around and maybe next week's reading will resonate more for you. So let's get right into it, Spirit. For Aquarius, regarding the person they are thinking about or in a connection with at this time. How does this person that Aquarius is thinking about, how do they feel about Aquarius or this connection? This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection or someone in mind. Messages for Aquarius. And um, before I start, I just want to quickly say a thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and commented on the videos. I really appreciate it. I read all of your comments, so thank you for your support. All right, so let's get into it for Aquarius spirit. How does this person feel about Aquarius or this connection? Let's start with the soul's journey cards for, okay. Okay, we got change and death. So definitely um, transformation happening here for your person, something Something is changing in your connection. Um, maybe your connection has already had some sort of transformation or uh, some sort of transition that it's gone through. Maybe there was an ending between you and this person or a new beginning due to an ending. Let's see. What else for Aquarius regarding the person they are thinking about spirit? What does that person think or feel about Aquarius or this connection? Where is this person, please? They think or feel about this connection. Empathy. I'm open to seeing all sides. So I feel like um, this could be taken a few ways here. Either this, your person, Aquarius, has gone through a serious change in their life where they can now see things from your point of view. Uh, they've probably gotten clarity about a disagreement or a separation between you or um, clarity about how they feel. For others of you, there was a separation between you, a breakup of some sort, and your person has changed be because of that. And now they're seeing how um, things unfolded in a different way um, from all angles, um, all sides of the situation. So let's see. Can we get some more insight, please, for Aquarius spirit? What would this person tell Aquarius if they had the chance? Let's see. I'm going to use my homemade Oracle deck for this. What would this person tell Aquarius if they had the chance spirit? What would this person tell Aquarius if they could at this time? And this change that has happened in your connection could be anything. It could be someone changing their mind, having a change of heart, moving or um, making a different decision, uh, choosing a different person. It could be um, any of those things. So we'll see when we get into the tarot what the case is. Okay, thank you. This is an equal partnership. So it could be that you both feel the same about each other. balance, reciprocation. That's way too many. What else would this person tell Aquarius spirit? Oh my gosh, that's way too many. <laughs> I just want one card. What else would this person tell Aquarius spirit? If they could at this time. Wedding bells are ringing. Interesting. This to me is like a card about a higher level of commitment. Um, someone could be married, married or wanting um, a long-term commitment with someone that can lead to marriage. Five of 
bottom of the deck, you make me happy. Okay. So let's see, let's use some romance angels to figure out what's happening in this connection or, or what is going on in this connection at this time. Spirit between Aquarius and this person, what is going on in this connection? What do we need to know about this connection between Aquarius and this person? So I could grab the cards. What do we need to know for Aquarius and this person that they're thinking about? What do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know for Aquarius? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Interesting. Is someone still with an ex or? Is this the change? One of you are, are one of you needing to release an ex for this to happen. Let's see what else. Chemistry reversed. There is a strong magnetic attraction here. Okay, so there's something off with the manifestation or chemistry upright. When I think of um, a strong magnetic attraction, I think about manifesting, drawing something towards you. So I feel like something here is off where someone's not able to manifest what they want. We got passion as well. And bottom of the deck, new love reversed. So I feel like this is about a reading for Aquarius is that um, you're not thinking about a new partnership. You're thinking about an old partnership, possibly. Uh, someone you already know are in a connection with. So let's get into the tarot here. I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for Aquarius, please, spirit. Now we're going to be looking at, you know, it's a simple spread. I'm going to be pulling some cards for how they're feeling towards you specifically or towards this connection. And then I'll pull some cards about um, their true intentions. So let's get into it for Aquarius, please. True feelings and intentions for Aquarius. True feelings and intentions, please. Let's start with feelings. How does this person feel about Aquarius or this connection? We already got some sort of um, insight into that, but I want to see what the tarot, tarot says. How does this person feel towards Aquarius or about this connection? What are their true feelings? Okay, these like came right out. Ace of Swords, High Priestess. <clears throat> two, okay, two cards all about knowledge. There could be something that your person hasn't communicated to you with the High Priestess card. Um, <clears throat> they might be keeping some some of their emotions close to the vest here. Their intuition could also be guiding them at this time, probably to speak up with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords, uh, clarity, which goes with this empathy card, which reminds me a lot of the hangman. Um, when you're able to see all perspectives, you gain clarity and you gain wisdom and you're able to see things from different angles, which means you can see something for what it is. Um, so with the High Priestess and Ace of Swords, it's like someone knows. Your person knows how they feel. They have clarity about this situation with you. That's what that tells me. And at the bottom of the deck here, we have Judgment. So again, it's like this person here, they know. They have 
um, they know enough to make a judgment call. They know enough to have, uh, maybe this was like a, a wake up call for them. They probably had some sort of epiphany or something that, that, you know, based off of what they've learned in the past, it's like now they can see something better, um, more clearer, and then therefore they can make a better decision. We'll see. What else can you tell me about this person's true feelings? Queen of Cups reversed. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy here. Um, I feel like there's someone, your person, and again, this could be your you your um, person, Aquarius, um, but you could be coming out in here as well because this is how they think about you, how they feel about you. Um, so they could be seeing you as a Queen of Cups reversed or this is how they feel, Queen of Cups reversed. Queen of Cups reversed, this is somebody who is clingy, attached, um, emotionally, they're blocked. Can you see that? Let me move this. Emotionally, they're blocked, um, unable to, th this person is not somebody that is able to see or think very clearly or make good decisions. Um, they can be over emotional, overwhelmed emotionally. And I feel like this is, you know, th these two here, seven of wands reverse, queen of wands reverse, um, Maybe someone feels this way because they no longer have the will or the strength to keep fighting to stand up for themselves. They might feel defenseless or they might feel like they're ready to give up with the seven of wands reversed. Um, maybe it's just too difficult, too hard here. Your connection probably had a lot of blockages or, or interferences, conflict. And I feel like, you know, it's either regarding this Queen of Cups reversed or this is how someone is feeling because of that. Your person could be realizing that this, that they were blocked, their emotions were blocked, that they um, made probably either hurt somebody or made choices that didn't help their situation here with the Queen of Cups reversed, the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. Queen of Cups Reverse also manipulates using emotion. They can, um, they can use things like guilt trips, mess with people's heads with their emotions, toy with people's emotions. So be very careful if this is your person, Aquarius, and maybe, um, maybe they realize that they were acting this way towards you, or maybe there's someone that they, you know, maybe when it comes to you. <clears throat> There's emotional manipulation there. So let's see, what's your person's true intentions? What is this person's true intentions, spirit? Towards Aquarius, what are their true intentions? The moon reversed. We have strong Pisces energy here. The moon reversed. A secret being revealed, something coming to light here. This is person's true intentions towards Aquarius, their true intentions. Wow, Ace of Pentacles, strong offer here. Commitment, security. Again, this, you know, wedding bells are ringing. This could be um, trying to move this relationship to a higher level of commitment here. And then, then we have the Emperor's Reverse, which this is that chemistry card not able to manifest. Um, not able to manifest what they want to manifest here. They are unable to grow something at this time or they don't have the resources at this time. You know, they want something new. They want to start something new here. But they're blocked. This could be an actual person interfering here, or it could be um, that they're just unable to manifest or grow at this time. Um, it could be a delayed 
growth or it could be that um, someone here made the wrong investment and so things are not going to grow as expected so let's get into this i'm just going to clarify with the same deck here tell me about this high priestess what is being hidden here or what does somebody know now tell me about the high priestess high priestess is all about secrets psychic abilities mystery knowledge she doesn't really open up and share it though you have to peek behind the veil and see tell me more about the high priestess knight of pentacles reversed what else about the high priestess spirit what can you tell me about the high priestess it's an offer that is very slow almost at a standstill five of cups your person could um, be they could be missing you or feeling regretful that they didn't bring an offer sooner they could be disappointed in the fact that they're not able to make this happen. They could have made a, a, the wrong choice in love here with the lovers reversed at the bottom. This is a bad choice in love. This could be a breakup as well. And someone's regretful or sad about it, disappointed. Um, Gemini energy there with the lovers. So what happened with this Queen of Cups reversed? Why is this Queen of Cups reversed here? death reversed clinging to clinging because they don't want something to end they don't want something to be over possibly wanting to return here with the eight of cups reversed yeah i feel like someone has been emotionally attached to either an ending or the fact that they don't want something to end that they want things to go back the way they were. They want to return. They don't want things to be over. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups reverse. They're very upset at the fact or the idea, you know, either they're very upset because an ending has taken place or because they can see an ending coming and they don't want that to happen. Tell me more about the Queen of Cups reverse. could be you or your person again six of cups there's the past release your ex six of cups and yeah it's almost like someone here is thinking about the past they're thinking about the past about you know not wanting the past to be over resisting change that's what the death rever uh, reverse is about. Resisting change, resisting a transformation, resisting an ending. And it has to do because of the past. Possibly children could be involved here for some of you. So why is the moon reversed over here for their person's intentions? What's this? Why is the moon reversed? With this queen of cups i'm getting so many messages here you guys it's almost like someone's really upset at the fact that there is a possible ending they don't want things to end um, somebody here could be um, thinking about or clinging to something that ended in the past as well and i think your person knows this tell me about the moon reverse Temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy here with the temperance reverse. What else about the moon reverse? So there's no more, no, there's no more illusion here about the fact that something's not coming together, that something's not happening. Tell me more about the moon reverse justice yeah it's almost like your person libra energy here we're having a lot of major arcanas in this spread it's almost like your person um 
they know it they, they know that something that they did or were involved in was an illusion and that bubble has burst they know that something was not coming together in harmony something was not meant to come together and so now they're here to rebalance the scales to make things right um, it could be a legal matter that they're dealing with or it could be that they're trying to just find balance again this could be um, because there was um, no closure regarding a situation or it could be that someone needs to end a cycle make that final decision based on truth to end a cycle in order to have a new one because when the world is reversed this new cycle is blocked. It's not happening. Interesting. Tell me about the Empress reversed. So it's like your person's true intentions is to make you an offer, but they have to rebalance something here first or deal with a legal matter. And I think it is related to the past, to something that happened in the past or, or an offer that they never were able to give you. Tell me about the Empress reversed. Nine of Swords reversed. What else about the Empress reversed? What else can you tell me? Empress reversed could also be a jilted lover. Someone that was left behind in the past and is not happy. Um, she, she tends to be very controlling and smothering. This is someone that your person is probably dealing with, or if you're in a third party, this could be a third party interference here. Yeah, this is a very difficult person. Queen of Swords reverse. Someone's overcoming um, this though. Like with the Nine of Swords reverse and the Queen of Swords reverse, like they're not letting this Queen of Swords affect them like they were in the past. This is probably a person and it's almost like there could be somebody that's trying to prevent growth or prevent something new being created here. Can I get one more for the Empress Reverse? Because I feel like this is a major block. Oh my gosh, we have the same card. Four of Swords Reverse. This was at the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords Reverse, King of Swords Reverse. Your person, Aquarius, might already be in some sort of connection or um, a family or a group of people here that they're just not getting along. Now with the Four of Swords reverse, it's almost like they're restless, uh, wanting to move on from this. Let me get one more for the Empress reverse. Higher font reverse, yeah. This could be a marriage that, or a commitment that someone is wanting to, like it's not working out um, this could be a hidden commitment from you or something that's just very unhappy, unstable. I wonder if you know that, because if not, that's going to come out. Your person could be wanting to get divorced. You could be wanting to get divorced or um, there's some sort of uh, situation here that needs to be balanced in order for your person to make you an offer. A lot of things happening here. Um, thank you so much for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.